Hi everyone, welcome to the 11th lecture of Ansible series and in this lecture we will try to understand the config file of Ansible location priority. What does that mean? So as we know like when we install Ansible the default home installation path is HC Ansible in that we get two files and one directory ansible.configuration file which consists of all the configuration then we get host file which is your inventory and then we get the roles directory. So we have done everything in detail with the default location path, inventory file, then the roles as well. We have done all those concepts in our previous lecture. But in this lecture, just wanted to make you understand like you can work from different location within controller engine. And that is something an advisable approach because as an example, I'll take the same example that I had given in my previous lectures. like. If you are working in a production world and you are working with a team of five or six members and every member is working with their own set of servers or managed node within Ansible, but we only have one controller engine. So in that case, working from the default location will create a conflict because let's say I, I am working on database server. My team member is working on application server. Somebody else is working on web server. So we can, we will be going to create a conflict if we work from the default location. So it's always advisable to create your own directory and try to work from there. Now, when you create, let's say I have my own directory, then we have a default path. We also have an environment variable defined. Then other person is also working on a different location within the same controller engine. From where ansible.configuration file will give you the priority, like which command. So for example, I'm running a ping command. Then how it will read my inventory file from which location, which will be the first configuration file will come into picture to respond me, to respond my query. So as you know, like ansible.cfg file is the heart of ansible. That's where all the configuration resides. Now, if you see this particular part, Configuration setting includes both the values from the Ansible file and environment variable. Within this category, value sets in the configuration file has the lower precedence. So this particular location always get the lower precedence. Why? I will show you that as well. Ansible uses the first ansible.cfg file where it finds, ignoring all others. So for example, I have a default location path which where we install Ansible. Now, I have created my own directory and I have all the co related configuration file, ansible.cfg, inventory, roles. Now, if I run a ping command to get the ping response from the managed node, what Ansible will do, it will read the nearest configuration file. Since I am working from my own directory, I already have a configuration file. So it will give the response from the local directory from where I am working. It will respond me from that. Now, let's say I don't have a ansible.cfg file in my local directory. So in that case, it will try to search again within the home path of that particular user. If it is not there, then you will not get a response. Then finally, it will go to my default path, which is HC Ansible and you get a response from there. So that's how the priority order work. If you have a environment variable defined, then the first priority will go to the environment variable, which is ansible underscore config. There, there you have defined the CFG file location. It will get the first priority. Then within the current directory, as I mentioned, if you are working from the current directory where you have all your ansible code and everything, then you will get a response from the current directory. The configuration file will get read by the current directory. The third priority goes to the home directory of user. So for example, if you're working from a user Shashank or ABC or test, then it will try to find out the configuration file within the home directory of that user. And finally, if all the three pointers are not available, it will always go to the default path of Ansible installation home directory. So that's how the location priority works for the configuration file. As you can see, like environment variable have a higher precedence than entries in ansible.cfg. If you have an environment variable set on your controller node, they override the setting, whichever the ansible.cfg file loads. So for example, if we have defined ansible.cfg file in all the location and you already have a config file or ansible underscore config environmental variable defined, 
then the first priority will always go to the ansible dot ansible underscore config environment variable the value of any given environment variable follows the normal shell precedence the last value defined overrides the previous value the same thing i uh, updated you in this particular theoretical part so again don't get confused with the priority just try to follow the standard if you are good in defining the environmental variable so obviously you can do that but i prefer if you are working from the local directory create your own set of resources so that it will not create a conflict with other part of the world right now obviously let's try to do the practical now let me show you something real quick and of the next section is basically how to disable a host key checking so we will try to look at that concept after this demo so let me stop the presentation now this is my controller engine i have all my resources all my managed node in stopped state now if i do pwd let me first clear it pwd what is the path hc ansible right now if i do ansible hyphen hyphen version let's see what result we are getting we are getting config file hc ansible ansible dot cfg fine this is the default path so i mean i'm running into from the home directory so i'm getting it the default path let me exit from this particular directory where i am now i am into home ansible admin so into the home directory of ansible admin do i have anything over here playbook and rules apart from that there is no configuration file now if i try to run ansible ansible hyphen hyphen version let's see what we get we are again getting the response from the default path hc ansible ansible.cfg because i don't have any file within my local directory so let me create a quick ansible.cfg file okay now if i try to run let's see what we get as you can see now the precedence is higher over here i am getting config file home ansible admin ansible.cfg right okay uh what next let me create another directory over here which is mkdir and let's say my directory as an example let me navigate to my directory try to run ansible hyphen hyphen version where is the path hc ansible ansible.cfg again going back to the default path because i don't have anything over here now what if i create another file touch dot ansible ansible come on ansible.cfg let's see ls right now ansible hyphen hyphen version where is the path home ansible admin my directory ansible.cfg that's a path right okay uh, let me exit out from this directory let me try run again it will go back to the home directory of this one okay let's come out from here and try running again let's see hc ansible ansible.cfg so that's how the priority works now if you have a environment environmental variable defined for the ansible.cfg file it will always take that priority first so i hope this clears a lot in terms of the concept clearance of the location priority so it's it's good that if you have your own local directory defined work from there or else if you want to define a environmental variable you can do that as well because that's the highest level precedence that happen on the priority side for the configuration file and within the shell uh, logic as well perfect so just try it out the uh, practical work by yourself this is very simple just wanted to show you how it works and what exactly the concept is and this is one of an interview question as well which interviewer can ask hey i have multiple location which location will give us the priority for the config file okay so that's the answer that what we have seen now the next concept let me go back this is another interview question that or the production based scenario basically that how to disable the host key checking what does host key checking means now 
as you can see when you try to ssh into your machine it always ask you hey you want to continue because it always check the ssh key connection right so that's what uh, with the host so that's what host key checking is but in a ideal world you basically try to disable this particular option you don't want to put something like yes or no I, yes for connection no i don't want to connect something like that so there are like two ways of doing it one either you create a variable export ansible host key checking equals to false now this is kind of a temporary solution where if you're working from your local directory and you don't want to connect or you don't want uh, this option to be asked to you like whether you want to connect or not while doing your automation from your controller engine to manage node then you can use this for the temporary basis but for the permanent basis what you can do you can uncomment this particular line within the configuration file of ansible which is ansible.cfg so if you uncomment this line you will never ask this question like hey you want to connect or not so in our ideal world we basically try to disable this option just to make our life easier while doing the automation with the help of ansible now another scenario is let me stop the presentation so that's that's what the theory for uh, ansible disable host key checking is all about we will do a quick practical over here now as you can see i have an only ansible master running let me start this node this is one of an ansible managed node that what we have now what it will do basically when i try to log in let me first navigate to hc ansible and then vi2 host come on yeah now as you can see obviously these are the dynamic ips that what we have these servers are running with the dynamic ips i don't have a static ip assigned for any of the nodes all ips are dynamic now if you stop and start obviously the ip address will change the public ip address will change now as you can see my server was in stop state now if i try to add this server into my inventory it will ask me hey you want to connect or not i cannot directly run the ping command or any shell command to get the data out of this managed node let me show you real quick let me copy this ip address let's edit i'll edit the web server okay paste perfect okay let me do one more thing actually shift i i don't have these servers running so let me comment uh, let's do sudo that requires a sudo privilege come on enter again shift i let me come on man it's taking time sorry guys it's a bit slow today somehow okay paste it that's the new ip and let me comment all these ip addresses okay done save it now let me see if it is in running state or not yeah if i try to do ansible all hyphen m ping let's see as you remember like all of my managed node were added we had this ssh key pairing was on we had that ssh connection in all my lectures and i'm using all these servers since start only the ip address was changed today i uh, stopped that those servers actually because it was costing me a bit while doing this uh, practical so i thought i'll stop it and i'll start it when it is needed now as you can see it is asking me hey do you want to connect to this server so first of all again let me exit out if i try to do ssh and or i can actually directly use the ip address of ssh part of an ansible admin again it's asking for me to do a verification whether you want to connect or not so that's what is sometimes it gets frustrating when you are doing an automation from the production perspective or staging perspective so it's better to disable this particular option via configuration file so let's do that sudo 
then uh, vi ansible dot ansible dot cfg yeah perfect so there is some entry let me check host where is that uh, host file no there's no host file what is the name of that sorry so name is host underscore key perfect host underscore key let's search here we go so if we uncomment this line it will allow us to disable the ssh key host checking so we will be not get asked whether you want to connect or not so let's disable it okay save it perfect now if i do ansible all hyphen m ping let's see what we get it takes bit of time basically in the backend to allow you to disable this uh, ssh host key now if i do ssh and copy the ip address that we want to ssh into because all are using ansible node as you can see i am into 10204 that's the private ip address of new server 10204 10204 okay so which means our uh, disablement of ssh host key is done perfectly fine now let's go back to our presentation now it's time for you to do a practical play around with both the concept that what we covered today this one first is uh, location priority change the priority of your ansible.csg try to make a different different location try to query out let's say ansible version or any ping command or gathering a fact something like that and check which is responding which which location is responding in terms of the priority also the next one that we covered like disable the host key checking this is important from the production practical perspective because uh, in most of the scenarios you will find the case very useful and you will be going to interact with these uh, situation as well so place out a comment in comment section if you're facing any issue I'll be there to help you. See you in next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.